I tell the team, we need this done by 3 p.m. They say, got it. We'll have it done by 3 p.m. But they don't deliver on time and tell me, well, we didn't know we needed it done by 3 p.m. How do I take ownership of this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is this seems like a tough question, right? But it's actually not that tough of a question. Because what you think is like, well, they, they said they were going to get it done, then they didn't get it done. Then how can that be my fault? Right. And I, well, maybe that's not how the question is meant, but that's the way I'm interpreting it for the purpose of this answer. Sure. Because <laughs> maybe he just meant like, hey, how do I take ownership of this? And if that's the way he meant it, fine. The answer's the same, actually. So what happens is, if you if that happens with what happens is if that happens with your team, then you take ownership of it by recognizing that you did not communicate effectively. Because if your team isn't doing what it is you need them to do, that is actually your fault as the team leader. Mm-hmm. They either didn't understand how important it was, or they didn't understand how solid that deadline was, or they didn't understand that when you said this thing needs to be completed by three o'clock, that you meant completed by three o'clock. Maybe it's because you usually say, hey, we need this done tomorrow at two, and you give them slack, and they mm-hmm. just kind of take advantage of it, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Then, uh, you know, if you want to take ownership of it, maybe you didn't follow up enough, right? Maybe you trusted them too much. Whose fault is it if you trusted them so much that you just let them, you showed up at 2.59, is it done? Mm. Well, no, we didn't think it was due, like, we didn't know you needed it actually. Yeah, like three, so three. whose fault is that? It's your fault. You trusted them too much. Mm. Maybe you gave them too much leeway, right? Maybe you gave them too much leeway, too much decentralized command, dichotomy leadership. Maybe you went too far with decentralized command. You said, hey, Get this done by three o'clock, figure out however you want to do it. I'll be back at 2.59. And you roll out and it's not done. So what do you do? You come back at three o'clock, it's not done. It is your fault. You take ownership of it. You say to your team, look, hey, okay, so now how, how do you take ownership of it? Cool, you fix the problem. How do you fix the problem in this case? Well, guess what? Next time I tell you something's done at three o'clock, I'm gonna check in with you. I'm gonna check in with you a few times. Uh, Here's the progress that we wanna make. I want you to be here by this point. I want you to be here by this point. I want you to be here by this point. And that puts us on track to finish well ahead of three o'clock. So let's make it happen. Are you going to micromanage a little bit more? Yes, you are. They missed a deadline. You're not allowed to miss deadlines. Yeah. Not allowed to miss deadlines. Do I micromanage you, Echo Charles? No. Have you ever missed a deadline? No. Well, there's been some podcasts that didn't come out on time. Oh yeah, right. Well, I, yeah, I guess it depends on what you mean. By I, yeah, I guess. But I, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's been some podcasts that didn't come out on time. Yes. And I would send you a text like, "Hey, just wondering if you knew about a podcast that was, you know, supposed to come out five that, hours ago." That happened one time. Well, no, two times. I think it's happened two times. Yeah. Yeah. One of them. Yeah. So we you don't time. warrant micromanagement because yeah. you we've done 147 podcasts. And you've had two that weren't out on time. Mm. Do I need to micromanage you? No, I don't. Don't need to. Because we're all good. The podcast come. Hey, occasionally the times that they didn't come out, one of them was like straight up operator error. Where you were like, I didn't press the button publish or something really lame like that. The other time was like major technical difficulty. We got a problem. It's going to be a couple days. Yeah, then there was another time. What was the other time? When we went to Maine the first last year. And what happened? We just got there. The, on the night that I was supposed to publish it, my mind was just you know, distracted <laughs> by the new. I had lost my camera. It was a crazy time for uh, everybody. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the next morning, you so, um, you know, graciously posted a picture of me sleeping on the plane, by the way, <laughs> and said, maybe someone can tell Echo to publish a podcast publicly, which is a complete violation, by the way. Yeah. Take a picture of me sleeping. We, but, hey, nonetheless. We weren't having fun. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was actually completely warranted. Because it really captured like what it felt like. I just totally spaced it out. <laughs> so my point is, you get stuff done on time. Yeah. You have a good track record. There's no need for micromanagement. Yes. If you were if you were hitting a lower number, you know, if, if every you know once every once a month it wasn't on time, <laughs> yeah. you'd be hearing about it all the time from me. I'd be like, hey, we good tomorrow? We good? Yeah. I'd be checking in with you until you got so mad. At me following up with you, you would just be like, hey, I got this. And you would never miss it again because you didn't want to be bothered. So for this one, again, it's important to remember that with the idea of extreme ownership, it's not just like, oh, well, I'll say this is my fault. No, when you're in charge of a team and something goes wrong, it actually is your fault. It actually is your fault. And that's all there is to it. Maybe there's some people you need to fire. Because they are the they're at fault for this mistake happening, and you've let it go too long, and you didn't get rid of them. That's your fault. Yeah. 
but it actually is your fault. How do you take on? How do you take ownership of it? You fix the problem. Maybe yeah. you got to in this particular case. Maybe you got to step up the micromanagement. That's yeah. that's the way it works. Yeah, it makes sense. Also, to the well, and I'm speaking from a perspective of someone who could very well easily space out this project by 3 p.m. By the way, that's that's potentially me. But this is this is when it can happen. Um, where, let's say I get a list of like two thi- three things, whatever I got to do, right? Like, mm-hmm. hey, we you know we want this or whatever, and then. Let's say it's not necessarily by 3 p.m. Let's say it's like by next week, Friday. So I got a week and a half to do these three things. And then the next day, there's like another list of two things. Mm -hmm. And the next day after that, one thing says, hey, you know what? This is the priority. Three days later after the list has been established, hey, this is the priority. Get this done first. Then you got one more thing, right? So this thing that I said, yeah, got it. I'll have it done by Friday kind of thing sort of gets shuffled and forgot, you know, like okay. forgotten. Yeah, so maybe okay. I didn't organize it or What's whatever. What's your point in saying this? Are when, you just putting yourself on report? Yeah. Are you saying that you need to make a list? Are no. you need to say and you need to write things down? Yes. People that miss things, you know what you do? You write them down. Yeah. I used to make little boxes. Yeah. I'll show you some of the checklists. You come to my house, I'll show you checklists I used to make. Yeah. They, are, they were psycho yeah. OCD little checklists, little boxes next yeah. to, like I would be going on a trip, I would make a little box, socks, T-shirts. Oh, uh, dang, okay, you know, that, that deep. Yeah, everything, every single thing I was taking, I would have on a list. I still got those lists. I got deployments from the, the 90s of what I took on deployment. That's pretty legit right there. Little yeah. boxes, little boxes. In the 90s, they were written down on paper. Dang. Then in the 2000s, I got the computer. <laughs> cool. And I print those things out. No app. So hey, if yeah, people man. have problems, if you personally are telling me that you have a problem, you got to write something down. Yeah. So boom. Yeah. And obviously, you know, me and you are different. I don't have those kind of notes. But <laughs> what I'm saying is, th- uh, yeah, like that could be your methodology of your micro, quote unquote, micromanagement style yeah. for things like this. Just make sure they got it, kind of thing. Like if yeah, for the sure. Things I'm thinking In about. In fact, there could you can you can give lists. I normally wouldn't have to do this. Mm-hmm. But sometimes there's been a couple times in my life and career where I'd have to give people a list like hey yeah, I make yeah, the yeah. boxes for them like hey. Here's what you got to yeah. get done today. Yeah, make sure we understand each other I would only do that if they drop the ball a couple times. Yeah, like oh they didn't get this done They didn't get that done. Okay. Guess what? I need to write it down to make sure it happens. Yeah So yeah, and again, it's not like and, and like, I'm not saying it's not my fault because you give me too much I'm not saying that I'm saying like not everyone me i'm talking about me not everyone's as organized as maybe you you know so they're gonna need some micromanagement in this particular way you know maybe because maybe that's it i mean i I think the tone here of the question could be me totally could be me mystery yeah yeah, yeah. but it kind of seems like hey they said they got it and they didn't get it what more do you want from me kind of thing you know that's a good that's a good way of putting it and i just gave the list of what more you can do yeah exactly you can Spell it out for them. You can yeah. micromanage. You can check in, do check-ins with them, do all those things. Yeah. 